to explain somebody's motivation to do something, there's three things. There's your thoughts, your feelings, and actions. And those three things lead to behaviour change. Right? So the point is our thoughts, feelings and actions are really tightly aligned. Mm. And if one of them's out of kilter with the other, then you have to change the others to make sense of that one. So if we can get somebody to act, then they're going to have to make their thoughts and feelings align with that action. Okay. Advertising has historically uh, tried to change people's behaviour through rational messaging. So for example, if you wanted to people to drive safely on the roads or not speed on rural roads, a rational message would be, don't speed on rural roads because 50 people die every year, whatever it is. Doesn't work that well. Better way to do it is through emotional connections. Do you love your children? Then slow down on rural roads. But there is a shortcut to all of this and that's getting people to act. Because if you can get somebody to act first, they'll have to change their thoughts and feelings to make sense of that action. Okay. So if we want to get people to slow down on rural roads, a campaign we did recently was, um, instead of trying to appeal to their thoughts or to their feelings, what we did was we found a small uh, country town called Speed in Victoria. We said if 10,000 people like the idea of changing this small country town called Speed to Speed Kills, then the town would actually change its name. So what happened was within, when we put this campaign up, within 24 hours 10,000 people had liked the idea. Within 48 hours about 35,000 people had liked the idea of changing this town's name from Speed to Speed Kills. What that really is, is 35,000 people reaching towards the proposition of speeding in rural areas is a bad thing to do. Mm. They just didn't realise it. So they've kind of, they're interacting with our cause and supporting our cause and promoting our cause to their family and friends through acting towards it. Mm. And so what we're about often is about trying to create ideas that get people to act uh, and get people to act in a way that's in accordance with the behaviour change you want to make happen.